Kevin James went 41 days with no food. Maybe you can stop whining about your situation. <laughs> now, I know we all don't want to do what Kevin James did, but I saw him on a podcast where he, uh, he said he went 41 days, nothing but water and some electrolytes. And in that time period, he lost 60 pounds. And uh, the reason I wanted to talk about this is I talk to a lot of people that are concerned about that fast weight loss. So, you know, that's not healthy. Let's, you need to do something different than fast weight loss. And I'm like, okay, well, let's look at that for a minute. He lost, 40, he lost 60 pounds in 41 days. He took no vitamins. And he explained, he said, you know, you can live on the fat on your body. And it's, it's interesting to me because I also get a lot of people to say, am I eating enough? Is this going to mess with my metabolism? Here's my question. For the last 20 years or 10 years or 5 years that you've been basically eating for two people, how concerned have you been that that's affecting so many things, including your metabolism, including your liver health, including your blood pressure, including your blood sugar, including your circulation, including your joints, including just taking years off of your life don't doubt that. Okay, <laughs> please don't sit here and say, "Well, it's not necessarily taking years off my life." Don't even go there. Okay, but how concerned have you been that it's affecting you poorly? Because it's fascinating to me. We can come in. I, I get people that I love and care about, but I've got to share it this way so you can kind of see what's going on here and get a different perspective. When somebody comes to me that's 100 pounds overweight or obese, 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight, and says, I don't, I want to make sure and lose weight in the most appropriate, healthiest, perfect way possible. However, for the last 10 years, I've been basically eating for two people and destroying my body. But now they're really, really, really concerned about how they lose it. Do you see a little bit of disingenuousness in there? Does that mean you should just lose weight any way you want to? Maybe. Just lose the weight and stop worrying so much about how you lose it. Having said that, most ways of losing weight are fine. Certainly mine is fine. Very good, very healthy. Anytime somebody's done my program and they've told me, you know, I, I, I was doing your program and I went to my doctor. And part of the reason they go to their doctor is... They're, they're wondering, is he going to say you're losing weight too fast? Is he going to say you should do it differently? Is, he gonna, is my doctor going to say that this is not wise? That never happens. Matter of fact, it has never happened. I've been doing this for a dozen years with thousands of people. And any time, and, and I say that because in my program, people tend to lose weight quickly. And any time they've gone to the doctor, the doctor inevitably has said, whatever you're doing keep doing, go back, do it again, keep doing it because of how it's affecting their body. Stop worrying so much about, am I eating enough? Am I losing weight too quickly? Now, if you're going to do that over and over and over again and just put the weight back on, you know, that's, that's not great. But in order to keep weight off, you're going to have to lose it. So lose it, then figure out, now, how do I keep this off? I remember I was working with Kurt, Pastor Kurt, and he lost weight quickly. And after 21 days, doing my 21-day transformation, he, he said, okay, now I just have to learn how to take this 21 days and turn it into 30 years. He said, I think I can do that. Yeah, you need to do that. Kevin James admitted he loses weight. He can't seem to keep it off. He can't keep it together. Yeah, we need to, we need to figure out how to do that. And one reason I don't think we do is because we're not prepared to make that long-term sacrifice. Pastor Kurt said, he said, Joe, I believe that God has called me to a lifestyle of fasting. And I think if you can get that mindset, has he called you to a lifestyle of fasting? I think he has. I think that all of us have been called to a lifestyle of fasting. What does that mean? It means I'm going to deny myself some things I would like. I'm going to fast certain things. I'm going to fast spending money that I don't have. I'm going to fast eating food that I don't need. Because for some of us, all fasting means is stop overdoing it. I'm fasting the overdoing it. I'm fasting the excess. Get that in your head. 
and then this long-term issue is solved. Now you're like, but I don't know if that's fun. I don't know if that sounds like it's going to be good. Okay, when you, and Kevin James said this, he said, I feel so good. I've lost weight. And I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. I love it. But then he goes back. One of the reasons we do that is because we don't believe. We don't believe deeply enough that the sacrifice we're making is going to be rewarded sufficiently, enough, enough to make it worth my while. We just don't believe that. So you might say, well, I do believe it. I still can't do it. Well, you don't believe it deeply enough. If you believe it deeply enough, you'll stay with it and you'll keep losing. You'll keep the weight off forever. Here's the key if you don't believe it enough. Get somebody to help you that does believe it enough and they'll help your unbelief. And if you need my help, of course, what I do is a 21-day transformation that focuses on that mindset, on the belief, on the things that you're thinking wrongly. So jump in my next 21-day transformation. We'll help you with that. There is a link for that in the description. I'm Trainer Joe. Train your brain and transform your body.